Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernard from the BTN HD, and today, guys, hopefully, uh, we're gonna go over how to convert your SCCM 2012 R2. Uh, from HTTP if you haven't configured it as HTTPS. So this is a video request that I've been uh, playing around with and I finally got everything working uh, the way I want it to work. So uh, let's get started. I have my notes. There's a lot of notes. I'm going to be looking down a lot because I'm going to be going over the notes. And most likely all my notes will be at my blog sites at uh, bjtechnews.org. So apparently uh, Configuration Manager 2012 Service Pack 1 you need three certificates for this to work. Uh, one, you need a client certificate, you need a web service certificate, and you need a client certificate for your distribution point or your DP. For the for the client certificate, uh, you need to you could deploy this through Active Directory as a GPO, which I'm going to show you guys. And for your web service certificate, it can be configured within your IIS, and your client certificate for the DP will uh, will be used to authenticate the distribution point to HTTPS and for Pixie support for clients. So let's get started. So the first thing that I did is uh, I'm going to minimize my system configuration manager and I created a console. So you can actually just uh, right click on the start, go to run and just type in MMC. And I'm just going to open up the one that I did. So the tools that I'm going to be using throughout this video is you want to add your certification authority, which is local uh, certificate templates, certificates, local computer, and you also want to add your group policy manager because we're going to be creating our GPO pretty soon. The way that you guys do that is go to file, add and remove snap-ins, and just pick those four and just add them to the side, and then you're good to go. Okay. So uh, let me take my closer look at my notes. So the first thing that you guys need to do is we're going to take care of the client certificate. So once you're inside your certificate templates, you're going to right-click on workstation authentication, uh, duplicate the template. You're going to make sure your compatibility is all. I, I didn't change anything here. I left everything as default. But uh, within my security tab, I actually on domain computers, I make sure the domain computers had read, read, and also auto enrollment. And then you apply it. Uh, I'm going to cancel it because I already did that from right here. And I named it. Uh, you right click on it and then you just change the name to something a little bit more useful. I changed it as config manager client certificate. So I'm gonna double click on that, go to properties actually, and everything stays the same and on security on domain, I did read and auto enrolled. So once you do all that, once that stuff is configured, we need to get inside our, then you need to get into your certification authority. Okay, so let's expand that. Let me expand that. You want to get inside your certificate templates. You want to right click. You want to go to new and you're going to issue a new certificate authority. Now, I don't have the config manager here stuff because I already, you know, issued. So most likely you're going to find your client uh, certification and just issue that inside this node. Now, once you got the client certificate already issued within your client uh, certificate templates, uh, next thing you could do is if you want to push it out as a GPO. So let's go inside our group policy manager. And I created a GPO right in the root called auto enroll SCCM certificates. Now you could call it whatever you want. I'm going to right click on it and I'm going to go to edit because I want to show you guys where you need to go. So you need to go inside the computer configuration policies within policies. You want to go to windows settings. Once windows settings configured, you guys want to get into uh, the security settings. Within the security settings, I believe we need to get into, let me expand this, uh, public key policies and uh, certificate services client auto enroll. By default, it's turned off. So just double click on it and just enable it. And you're going to get these two options. Just check uh, renew expire certificates as well as update certificates that use certificate templates. So just check those two off. Uh, and just click OK. Now, the next thing that we need to do, I'm going to close this GPO because it's already done. It's already part of our domain controller, so we're good. So the next thing that we need to do is start with our web server certificate. So within our certificate templates node right here, you guys want to get into uh, right here, web server, right click on it and just duplicate the template. Uh, leave everything as default. And But within the security tab, you guys need to add the, I believe the SCCM or the IIS server. Uh, once you add that, I'm gonna close this up because I already have it already done. So I'm gonna double click on this 
and I'm going to go to security. So I actually added the SCCM computer because the SCCM computer has the IIS server already embedded. But if you have IIS in, inside a separate machine, just add it. Once you add it, make sure you give it read and enroll rights. And as well as the enterprise, you want to disable the enroll because by, dis by default, enterprise admins have enroll. So you want to disable that. Just make sure uh, enterprise admin only has read and write and just press OK. So the next thing that you need to do is we need to issue the certificate. So issuing the certificate is pretty easy. Just go back inside your uh, certification authority, your CA node. Uh, go inside your certificate templates, right click, and you want to go to new certificate template to issue and just locate uh, just locate that web, that web server. Now, uh, when you're duplicating stuff, it's going to make copies. So just rename it the way that you rename this stuff. So uh, if you make a duplicate, just right click on it and just change the name, like right click, change the name. So I just called mine's config man, uh, manager web server certificate, but you want to go back in here and just right click, go to new certificate template to issue, locate it, and then you're good to go. And it's right uh, here. So once that's issued, you're almost done. So now I'm looking at my notes. So now once you issued your uh, web certificate, we need to get into our uh, certificate node, your local computer certificate node. So I'm actually going to uh, do this so I get a little bit more real estate. And I'm going to expand this. You want to go into your personal node and click on certificates. Now, within certificates, you want to do is right click, go to new task, and you want to request a new certificate. You get a nice little certificate enrollment dialog box. So just click on next. Uh, click next here. And you're going to locate the uh, config web certificate uh, server right here. Uh, don't do anything. You want to do is click on this button right here. And once you click on this button, I already did it. So this is, I'm not going to do it again. But once you click on that button, uh, let me go back to my notes. Uh, you want to do is you want to change the alternative name type to DNS. And right here, you want to enter, I'm, I'm going to show you what I enter. So I entered like bj scm dot, and I added lab.local and add that. And I also added uh, bj scm dot uh, bj tech. Dot edu. So I added those two DNSs uh, within the certificate. Uh, you hit apply, and then once you hit apply, you just continue uh, doing the enrollment. And uh, I'm going to cancel because I already did it, and it's right here. Where are you? Where are you? Uh, there it goes. So this is it right here. So I'm going to double click on it. And as you can see, it has the issue to lab. So it's, it's, it's already done. It's already configured. So I got it right here. So that's cool, right? So uh, I already issued that already within the, I already requested inside the certificate node. So I'm good to go. Now the next thing that you need to do is configure IIS to use the web server uh, certificate. So the next thing you need to do is open up your IIS. Once, up, once you open up your IIS, I'm going to double click on this to get a little bit more real estate. You want to expand your node. You want to expand the sites. You want to right click on the web. You want to edit, uh, what is it, edit bindings. You want to locate your HTTPS. You want to edit. And the one that you want to locate, you want to select your SCCM CA, okay, your certificate authority. Once you select that, you're good to go. Uh, once you do that modification, I would say just test it. Go in a node and just uh, click on browse F, uh, browse 443 HTTPS. The way that you know it actually works if the site loads up, your local host loads up. If you get this, if this loads up, and you get the nice little warning, the certificate is working. Uh, if you do not provide the certificate, it's gonna load up and it's gonna say page not found. So now we need to do uh, the client certificate for the DP. And to do that, we're gonna close this up and I'm gonna close up the IIS. We need to get back into our certificate uh, template node and we're gonna right click on here and we're gonna duplicate the template. So once you duplicate the template, leave everything as is here, go to security. Within security, you want to add your SCCM uh, computer and you want to give it read and enrolled and the enterprise enterprise. You want to disable enroll. So I'm going to show you. I already did it. And from here, uh, I renamed it to config manager client uh, distribution point certificate. So I'm going to double click on it. Let's go to security and I added my SCCM and I gave it read and enrolled. And on the enterprise admin, I just removed the enroll. Now, the, once you 
uh, make the duplicate and you make the modifications within the certificate, you need to get into your uh, certification authority node, go inside the certificate template folder, right click, go to new uh, certificate template to issue and locate that distribution certificate that we just created a few minutes ago. So I already have it right here. So, and that's, it's already done. Once that's done, the next thing that you need to do is enrollment of the client certificate for your DP. So now to do that, you wanna get inside your certificate local computer node, go to personal certificates, and within certificates, we want to right click and you wanna go into all tasks, request a new certificate, click on next, click on next, and it's right here. So you wanna select it and you just want to enroll it. Now I already enrolled it and it's, uh, where is it? It's right here. And once you have it there, you wanna right click and you want to go to ta all tasks and export, go to next, next, make sure it's uh, x.509, next, uh, dro I dropped it in the desktop and just give it a name and it's like right here. So this is it right here. Okay, so we're almost completed. So now we need to get into the site server communications and configure that. Now overall, when everything works, I want to right click and go to my control panel because my SCCM does have the client. And if you go to configuration manager, right now it's self-signed, but eventually once your client starts talking to your communication server or your SCCM server or your manager or whatever, uh, this is gonna change the PKI. So once that changes the PKI, you're, you're good, you're golden, everything is communicating. For me, it's running a little slow, so it's taking some sweet time for it to, uh, to the certificate to say PKI, but uh, eventually everything should work. So now we need to get into our SCCM console. So I'm just gonna hit save. I'm gonna open this up and we need to get into our administrative, a console, overview, site configuration, sites, right click, go to properties. You wanna right click on your, um, your headquarters and go to properties. You wanna get into the client computer configuration. Now by default, it's already set to HTTPS or HTTP. You wanna change it to HTTPS only, which is great. And then uh, you wanna set you actually want to locate that um, that export that we did on the desktop. Once you export and everything works well, it's going to see it's going to be like this, and you press OK, and that's it. That is how you convert over to HTTP if that's the default settings that you did during the installation to HTTPS. There's one last thing that I can't do that you guys could probably do, and that's configure the manager so uh, your traffic from and to the distribution point go all over uh, to HTTPS. So to do that. Uh, you guys need to get into uh, your overview again. You want to get into your site configuration, server and roles, and you want to get into your distribution point. So let's double click on that. Actually, let's right click. Yeah, there it goes. Where, is, where are you? There it goes. And you need to do is import the certificate. Now the certificate, it's only a PFX. Uh, I don't have a PFX, but once you import the certificate here, right now it's self-signed. But, uh, and then you provide a password if it, have a, if it has a private key. And then you're good to go. And that means all your traffic in and from your distribution point is going straight through HTTPS, which is secure. That's awesome. Other than that, guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions or stuff that I went too fast, again, I'm going to post all this write-up stuff at my site. And the link will be at the description part. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.